This is Eric, the House Fan Cowser here. I'm five weeks out from the Mr. Olympia contest on my road prep. Um, everything up to this point at five weeks out with training has been difficult, but at five weeks out is really when you get your gut check. Um, five weeks out, things really start to change. Um, at five weeks out, it's basically is what makes you what separates um, the champions from just the average person. A lot of things usually change at five weeks out for me in my training. Um, at five weeks out, um, basically what I did was I added another cardio session. Uh, so right now I'm doing three cardio sessions a day at 30 minutes each. Or um, if I'm crunched for some time for some days, I'll be doing uh, two cardio sessions at 45 minutes each. So I'm getting 90 minutes of cardio in a day. Um, when you're doing 90 minutes of cardio, that's, that's a lot of time uh, that you're spending on, on, on the cardio. Um, basically, I'm still working my uh, 40 hours a week, so I'm getting uh, my eight hours in a day at work, and then my hour and a half of cardio, and then usually my hour and a half of uh, strength training in. So that's it, around three hours of time in the gym a day or on top of that eight hours that you're working. So I mean, that's a, a lot of time that you're putting into uh, uh, other things then. Uh, and it's just like compared to what I'm used to doing. Um, when you start getting around that three hours to four hours in the gym time in a day, seven days a week, it gets tough and it gets very uh, hard on your body, but uh, at five weeks out, you just you got to do that. Um, I'm a big believer that from five weeks out in is really what makes you. I mean, dieting up to that point is uh, is hard. I'm not going to say it's not, but at five weeks out, it, it really changes, and uh, that's when I start to see most changes in my body. Um, with my diet at this uh, point. I changed all my meals to fish, so right now I'm eating uh, six to seven fish meals a day at uh, either eight ounces or ten ounces, depending on uh, if it's a high protein day or a lower protein day. I also changed my carbs to uh, just high days and low days. I cut my medium day out at five weeks out. So on my low days right now, I'm getting in uh, 27 grams of carbs. On my high days, I'm getting in about 300 grams of carbs. Um, on my high days, I'm getting those right now uh, two to three times a week, depending on what I look like. And my low days would be every other day. Um, it's tough, man, when you're only taking in 27 grams of carbs a day. Uh, sometimes you don't you forget what you're doing or you get kind of foggy when you're thinking or you just kind of find yourself in la la land um, it is really a gut check when you're doing that uh, just depending on how I look sometimes I will go lower with my carbs or I'll take some of those high days out but as of right now it's uh, 27 carbs on my low days so um, the diet has definitely got harder eating fish just with every meal, cutting my egg whites out and cutting my um, uh, my beef meal out also. Um, and a lot of things that, uh, just depending at this time point, will go on how I look and how I feel also. If I'm feeling really, really flat and really tired on some of my low carb days, I will increase the uh, fat intake that I'm taking. And if I do that at that point out, um, I'll be eating almonds for my fat. So, I mean, I might eat uh, a couple servings of almonds to get a little bit of, of fat in there. Um, another, a couple few things that I changed with my uh, training at five weeks out, I started adding drop sets. Um, I think that my core exercise, I still like to keep that very, very heavy. But then at the end, I might do a drop set with that exercise. Or I might just pick one exercise uh, do three straight sets and then do a drop set. As I get closer to the show, I still try to keep everything heavy, but I'll add drop sets and giant sets and just supersets. 
Uh, this week I started to add a lot of drop sets to my core exercises after I do my heavy sets. I still believe that you should always get your heavy sets in and keep it as heavy as possible all the way up to the show. As in uh, supplements, a couple of things that I've changed um, at this point. I'm a big firm believer in amino acids. So as in right now I'm taking my branch chain amino acids, my universal uh, BCAA stack at least two to three times a day. Um, Right now I'm only drinking water, so usually if I'm drinking water, I usually either put my branch chain amino acid stack in there or my EAA stack from Universal. Um, so I'm doing those at least two to three times a day each, and then I'm taking my uh, animal nitros at least two times a week, two times a day. Um, it's uh, I I think it helps keep your muscle mass and it helps keep you going and, and the uh, actual the the, the flavors with that adding to the water actually makes it get my two gallons of water in each each uh, day a little easier. Um, another thing that I just started at five weeks out would be I added my animal cuts. I'm going to run that for uh, three weeks and see what happens there. And then if I have to, uh, I'll take a week off and then run it for another three weeks right into the show. Um, Usually, I mean, I have good results with the animal cuts. I like how it uh, keeps my, my water weight off, and it, and it increases my metabolism, and it has a little caffeine in it, so it gives me some energy uh, to sustain my workouts. Um, another thing I've been taking, uh, since I've cut my fat, I've upped my animal omega to two to three packs a day. Uh, I'm a big believer that you need those good fats in there, and I think the animal omega helps you keep that in there. It's a good, easy way to do that. Um, usually, once you start getting drier and leaner and leaner, that's when it pays off the be of taking the animal flex all the way up to this point and making sure that you're still taking it. So animal flex is always in my regimen of supplements. Um, and this is when you really notice the difference if you're not taking that supplement. So. I've been taking it, it's, like you say, it's reassurance in the bank there that you've taken it all the way up to this time and it helps keep those joints lubricated as you get leaner like this. Um, I'm always taking my animal pack. Um, at this point, when you're working out this hard, there's always chances of uh, running your body down. So I usually increase my animal pack to two times a day instead of once what I usually get. So I'll take it once in the morning and then uh, once in the evening after I train. Um, Pre-workout supplements, right now I'm just sticking to the animal pump. I like it because it's in pill form and there's no calories um, uh, and no carbohydrates. Uh, it's, a, it's a great product. It helps with the energy. It helps with uh, getting pumps during my workout. Um, Post-workout, right now, I'm still taking my, my uh, Universal uh, Torrent Zero. Um, it has a great product. I used to always take Torrent in the off season, uh, the regular torrent but with the extra calories, the uh, torrent zero, uh, which has a lot lower calories, less carbs. Um, I can take that while I'm dieting now, where a regular torrent I, I never took when I was dieting, uh, just in the off season. But I'm glad that uh, we have those products to uh, offer there and to, to keep things going post-workout, the torrent zero is great. Um, um, a lot of uh, other things have went on this week. Um, it was my uh, little girl London's first birthday party this weekend. Uh, she's uh, turned one year old. Can't believe the times went by that fast, man. Um, I can remember pretty much I started my diet when she was very, very young. I've been dieting since December. And it's crazy that it's pretty much going to be almost a year when I end my diet. It's going to be like 10 months. And uh, to see my little girl turn a year within that time, it's kind of crazy that I've been on a contest diet almost the whole time that she's been alive. But she's, um, she's doing great. I mean, she's, she's the spark in my eye right now. And she gives me a lot of motivation. When I come home from the gym on those long training days, I'll see her and see my son Xavier and see my wife and they just kind of bring me back to reality and it's 
it's, it's like a, definitely a breath of fresh air when you see them and uh, you might be having a bad day and you just look at her and she smiles and it just makes everything worth it. Um, so at this point, man, everything is definitely getting harder. Definitely. And uh, it's just going to get harder. So uh, the closer that we get to the show, more things are going to change with my training. And I'll keep you guys informed on that. Since I started my prep and my uh, video blogs here, I'm down about uh, seven to eight pounds in the last three weeks. So we'll, we'll see uh, what my weight gets down to. Uh, my last show, I competed at about 222 on stage. Um, right now, I'm hanging about 235 to 237. So we'll see how it ends up in the next five weeks. I would like to keep my weight about uh, 225 on stage, uh, and I've been 225 on stage, so hopefully I'll be right around there, be big and full and hard at that weight. Um, all right, guys, thanks for everything, and uh, I'll be checking back in at, at four weeks out.